Wait, two videos in one day? My word. Well, um, there was another issue that came up on the, the forums, which I haven't talked about before, but I've had a lot of dealings with. Um, happens in most height map based uh, um, uh, tools, uh, any kind of landscape tools that you're making, and that is spikes. So if I were to take something like this and go ahead and erode it, it's going to look fine. It's not much problems. You have this you know, variable height ridge, which is exactly what you want. You know, you don't want it to be like a straight line. Obviously, you want it to break apart, so it's supposed to break apart that ridge. However, if I take that ridge and I make it really narrow and I do the same erosion, well, now I get some spikes, right? Those changes start to be pretty nasty. And uh, what's unfortunate is that while you're working at this, say at 512k, 1k, 2k, that's what we're doing right here, uh, you might not always see the spikes appear when you switch up to something like, a, let's say, a 4k or an 8k, and then you do a build, well, then all of a sudden these spikes start to appear. And they're related to, uh, again, the same uh, kind of idea of erosion trying to break that top edge. However, the difference is how thick that edge is. Take a nice little constant here and I'll just do a little transform to break it down into a really thin edge. Well, if I do an erosion to that, of course we're going to get spikes because what is it trying to erode? It's trying to erode basically one pixel's worth of depth. And um, when it goes to eat away at that, uh, it's it's supposed to break it down by a certain amount. There's sort of like a percentage that it's applying to that. So it doesn't know that, hey, the difference between these two things, maybe I should only apply, I don't know, a 0 0.001 change to it. It goes ahead, it's like, I'm gonna take 10% off it. And at this extreme kind of range, 10% is a big chunk. By contrast, if we go ahead and take that same um, map and we just bring it down to a smaller region, right and we're going to apply the exact same erosion all the same settings the exact same seed which means it's doing exactly the same thing and we look at it well the scales much less and so the appearance of that kind of uh, spike at the distance it just looks like some you know some noisy surface so really it's about how thin that edge is so how do you predict it well you look at any of your your stuff and you say hey, you know, uh, that's starting to get to be a rather sharp edge. And when I get into, say, 4K, it's going to be even sharper because it gets even more refined. There's a good chance that it's going to be so sharp that it's going to cause me a problem. So what you can do is then try and adjust for that and try and work out a, a system to, to adapt. So there's some things that you might be able to do, things like... Uh, you could play with something like slope and see if you can isolate it. So if I went to a really extreme slope here, so I'm going to 90. fall off. I mean, it's quite extreme so I mean that's that's basically as low as I can go with this. However I could um, enhance that possibly a little bit further with the height. which range is going to be best. So something like that will say, okay, now for any um, train that I have that has, you know, really sharp ridges, I can use that to say before you go ahead and erode. Maybe apply a blur. Where are you blur? 
my eyeballs are not working. There you are. Take a blur, which obviously is going to be rather extreme. It's going to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff, but I only want that to happen to that upper region. So what do I do? I mask it off. Looks like it's not getting that top pixel. So I might need to apply a slight blur to that mask as well. So we've got our slope to isolate that whole region, although it's missing the very tip pixel. So we apply a minor blur to that mask, and then use a height to refine the range. And then we apply the blur to it. And what ends up happening is it softens that one little ridge. And once that's been softened, we can go ahead and erode that and it re reduces the impact. And so you determine you know how much of a range you need to kind of soften off but it just basically cuts off those those really sharp edges and they'll give you something to to fight against the uh, the spikies in those those higher ranges even when you can't see them because now you know where they exist and, and what to do about them hopefully you found that useful see you next time